Hello everyone, welcome to RPG Edge Dejam 3.4 Create a Mashup with APIs Lab Guide video. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, uh, which is free, you can register at rpg.com slash edge. You need an ex existing API proxy that we have used in the Devzam 3.0 lab guide. Let's get started. Log into your rpg.com edge account. Once you are logged in, uh, click on API proxies to access the API proxy that you have created in earlier lab guide. I'm going to use uh, Anil underscore employees underscore proxy that I have created in earlier lab to uh, demonstrate how the mashup works in RPG Edge. Let's call this uh, API first and see the response uh, to understand what are we going to do in this lab. As you can see, this particular proxy lists out uh, the employees uh, uh, in, the, in the database. Let's say we would like to now retrieve uh, the employees within a certain kilometer radius in a particular zone using uh, the postal code or the zip code. This data is coming from RPG BAS which supports uh, the location based queries. But the problem with the uh, uh, use case that we are going to do today is basically the BAS accepts the latitude and longitude. But as an end user, ideally we would like to supply the zip code or postcode and get uh, the employees within a particular uh, uh, zone or a radius. So we're going to do a mashup with a Google location API, which will take uh, the zip code and give us the latitude and longitude. Let's see how that works in RPG Edge and how you can mash up different APIs and retrieve the data that you want. Let's get started. Click on develop on your existing API proxy that you have created in a dear lab. We're going to start with the uh, assign message policy to create a request that we would like to send to the Google API. So click on preflow and then click on step and uh, create an assign message policy and then add. Let's change the assign message policy with the code here that I copied from the lab guide. As you can see, uh, this particular assign message policy creates a request that we would like to send it to the Google API. As you can see, uh, we have created a new request called Zero Coding Request, and we have taken the zip code uh, from the query param, and uh, we have assigned it to the assigned it to the variable called zip code, and also we populated uh, different query params that we would be sending to the Google API. After uh, creating a send message policy, let's create uh, a service caller's policy that going to make a call to the Google API. So I'm going to add a new service caller policy with the endpoint uh, Google Maps API. So using this particular API, we're going to retrieve the latitude and longitude. So click on add and I'm going to change uh, the display name to Let's see your coding request. Click on add. Let's take a look at uh, on the zero coding request uh, policy. I'm going to change uh, the response to zero coding response. And uh, the request variable will be the one that we have populated here. So it will be geocoding coding request and then save the API proxy as a new revision. So we're gonna get the response from the Google API and we're gonna extract the response uh, uh, to find out the latitude and longitude that we need for the pass query. So click on uh, add step again and add an extract variable policy that is going to extract uh, the response uh, from the Google Maps API. So again, I'm going to copy paste uh, the policy code for the lab guide. As you can see here, uh, Google API will return the latitude and longitude uh, as an output, and it takes the GPU code as an input. And we have extracted the latitude and longitude from the Google Map API. And let's uh, build a, a request that we're gonna send it to the BAS API to retrieve uh, uh, the results uh, within a particular particular time zone or radius. So I'm going to add a JavaScript policy 
and change uh, JavaScript code here. As you can see, we got the latitude and longitude, and uh, we have populated uh, a variable called pass query uh, with a location within a radius of latitude and longitude. And then let's uh, go ahead and uh, create one more RAS and MESIS policy uh, that is going to add uh, the new query params so that will be sent to the BAS to retrieve the results. So I'm going to add one more assign message policy. Click on add, click on the policy, change the request. As you can see, we have uh, removed the query params, the zip code and radius, and we have added the new query param, the BAS query language. Because BAS needs uh, the qu query language uh, with the latitude and longitude to retrieve the results and filter the results uh, to find out employees in a particular radius within that latitude and longitude. And uh, uh, the final step is uh, save the proxy and then deploy the proxy and make few calls to see the API mashup in action. I'm going to deploy the API proxy in test environment. And then make uh, the call with zip code and radius to see the filtered results. Click on overview back, click on uh, the proxy. As you can see now, it expects a zip code. So I'm going to use the zip code and a radius of uh, uh, 20,000 meters. That's like 20 kilometers. As you can see, we found out uh, one employee within the city, Albany. And let's uh, change uh, to 500 kilometers radius with a different zip code. And you can see we have now many employees. So that's how the API mashup works in Apigee Edge and uh, we leveraged a service callout policy to make an API call to the Google Maps API to retrieve the latitude and longitude from the zip code. And we sent the latitude and longitude to the BAS to filter the results based on the location. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comedy.apigee.com. Thank you for watching this video.